I'd always wanted to be in a band with my son, but he never seemed interested. Dad! Dad! It's too loud! Hey, buddy. Sorry about that. How about you jam with me? You can play this tambourine. No, thanks. Hi, Roar. Want to play? Sure! Whoa! Cool drums. Can I try? Absolutely. Be my guest. Rawr! Nice drumming, Ping. Check it out. I can play the tambourine. That's the funny thing with kids. If their friends love something, they do too. We sound amazing! We should start a band! Okay! That's a great idea! Did I hear we're starting a band? Sometimes us unicorns just have to sing! Hit it! you guys. What should we call our band? Well, we have dinos and unicorns together, and dinos are reptiles. So how about the reptilicorns? I love it! <laughs> hey, that works for me. Hands in! We, we are, are the reptilicorns. reptilicorns! That's how the band was born. We loved playing together. We were on top of the world. It was so exciting. We had fans right away. This one goes out to our fans. One, two, three, and four. Once in a while, you got a roar. We played all over the place. The front yard, the living room, the balcony, even the couch. Like I said, we played everywhere. Sure, there were creative differences at times. When there were disagreements, the important thing is it was always about the music and nothing else. I say we order a pizza. But we had pizza already today. What law says you can't have pizza more than once a day? I want grilled cheese. No crust. I want cinnamon buns with extra frosting. Okay, sometimes we argue about the food, but usually the music. Then there was the breakup. Yeah, I think we got it. Great job, Dad. Oh, that was perfect. Not bad. Let's go one more time. Not bad? My fingers are practically falling off. I, I can't do this. I'm sorry. The pressure finally got to tremble. <laughs> Why is being in a band so hard? <laughs> we want you to come back to the band, Dad. Please, I'm sorry I was being bossy. Oh, the reptilicorns just aren't the same without you. <laughs> you mean it? Of course. Definitely. Do it for our fans. Yeah, come on, You're, You're right. Uh, I'm sorry I left the band. I love you guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Our final concert was epic. We didn't know at the time it was going to be our last. Everyone who was anyone was there. Hello, Forest Hill! We are the Reptilicorns! Hit it! Wow, we should take this band on a world tour. I can get a great deal from my buddy on a tour bus. Oh, actually, I really need to get up early tomorrow. Hey, Roar, check this out. Whoa, cool yo-yo. 
I wanna try. I knew then that my son had moved on. Ah, that's how it goes when you're young. I'll always remember being the reptilicorns fondly, but that was a long, long time ago. Actually, it was yesterday. Yep, a long time ago. Maybe I can just be a one dino band. <laughs> oh yeah. Ping, I found a good luck dino claw in the garden. How do you know it's lucky? Because beside it, I found ten dino bucks. Roar! Time for your dentist appointment! Wait! Oh, never mind. They rescheduled, so no dentist today. That lucky dino claw is the greatest thing ever! Good try, Ping. My turn. Sorry, buddy. Doesn't look like they have pizza here. Are you sure about that? How did you know they just added pizza to the menu? It's because of my lucky dino claw. I've been having good luck all day. Watch. Yeah. Let me try. Honey, that's not a good... Yep, that's what happens when you throw a pizza into a ceiling fan. I, I know, from experience. Don't worry, Ping. You can have some of mine. That's nice of you, buddy. Now, Roar, with your new luck superpower, you want to make sure to use that wisely. I can't believe it! All my favorite shows are on at the same time! Sweet! But I'm not using my luck powers wisely. Maybe we should play a game instead. Doubles again! I win! It's not as much fun playing when someone's always lucky. I know what you mean. I think I'm tired of being lucky. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I've been out of a job for six months. Wow, really sorry to hear that, Gary. Uh, is there anything I can do to help? <sighs> I guess I'll have to move back in with my parents. But they moved into a one-bedroom apartment, so it's gonna be pretty cramped. <gasps> Roar! Gary the Prontosaurus is going to have to move! But that's my dad's best friend! Maybe my mom can get him a job as a realtor! That's very sweet of you two, but Gary already tried to be a realtor at my company. It, uh, didn't go well. Oops, um, uh, how do you feel about a fixer-upper? But if that didn't work, what are we going to do? I know! I know a way to use my powers wisely. Gary just needs a little luck. Mr. Gary, I got you a farewell gift. Aw, uh, shucks. You shouldn't have. It's a lucky dino claw. There. Now you're in for some good luck for sure. <laughs> well, I sure could use it. Excuse me, everyone. I'm getting a call on my hands free. Hello? Really? That's great news! I can start tomorrow! I can start right now if you want! Whoa! That's fantastic, Gary! <laughs> I knew your luck would change! So, so what's the job? Emptying swimming pools. 
I just do a cannonball into them and they're pretty much empty. <laughs> that sounds like a perfect job. We're proud of you both for helping Gary. It was very nice of you, but wasn't it hard to give up all of that good luck, son? Not really. I'm already lucky. I've a great dad, awesome neighbors, and a best friend. An awesome best friend. Hello? You had a cancellation? Uh, sure, we, we can come right away. Good news, Roar. The dentist can fit us in today after all. Whew. Tremble one, press zero. Yep, this is Top Dad living. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, who's there? Is it the meteors again? Keep it down, Dad. I'm playing hide and seek with Ping. And I'm Dino trying to relax, so, you know, I like to nap when I mow the lawn and don't miss a single spot. Found ya, found ya, Dad's gonna ground ya. Hey, that's catchy. Found ya, found ya, found ya, found ya your gonna dad's ground gonna ya. ground ya. <laughs> Dad! Okay, okay, I'll get out of your scales and have my nap inside. Found you, Ping! <coughs> Whoa! Look what I found! What is it? A diamond? A tiny universe? Oh, that's a marble. You know, I used to play with those when I was a little bitty dinosaur. <coughs> Roar? Ping? This is the coolest marble ever! It sure is. I can't wait to show my mom. See you later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you going with that marble? Wherever I want. It's mine. I found it. But it was in my house. Hmm, that's a good point. Tell you what, you can come over anytime you want and look at it. Or we can keep it in my room and you can come over anytime and look at it. <laughs> we can't agree on who gets to keep the marble. Well? Maybe we should compete for it. Great idea, Roar. Gee, glad I could help. Hmm, that's the tenth time we've played hopscotch, and it's a tie every time. Maybe hopscotch is too easy. I've got an idea. Let's compete to see who can hula hoop the longest. <laughs> Getting tired yet? Not at all. That marble will be mine. Oh, yes, it will be mine. We'll see about that. Don't hula too hard, you two. I'm baking a cake for later. And if you make yourself sick, you won't be able to have any. <laughs> we won't. Thanks, Mom. <sighs> this isn't working. We're both too good at hula hooping. How about a race where we shout marble the whole time? Winner gets the marble. Okay, but no pinging. Marble, marble, marble. Marble, marble, marble. Look, you two, I mowed the lawn perfectly. That means I get a nap. You know that's how it works. We were trying to compete for the marble. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. We're both too good at racing. All right, give it here. I figured out what to do. Since we can't agree who the marble truly belongs to, I shall cut the marble in half. No way. Dad, that's a horrible idea. Huh. So much for ancient wisdom. Hey, fam, I was wondering if you had seen... <gasps> My marble! I lost it on...
under the couch when I came over to play last week. Thank you, 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 thank you. No! It was Mikey's marble all along. I guess that's how it goes in Marble Town. Do you want to play marbles with me? I've got a whole bag. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Mr. Tremble, you missed a big spot when you mowed the lawn. <sighs> I think I'm losing my marbles. Okay, Cicely. Time to drop you back home at my sister's. Thanks for coming over. I don't want to go. You'll come play soon. But right now, we're late to meet your mama. Hey, check this out. Hop, hop, hop. Girls, has anyone seen my keys? Nope, not me. Boing, boing. No. Nope. <laughs> Bingo. Rawr, rawr. Oh, hey, Ping. Hi, Cecily. Can I come play? Hop on over. Oh, hi, Roar. Kids, I lost my keys. This sounds like a job for... The, the Mystery, Mystery Solvers. Solvers! Yay! Mystery Solvies! So, the last time you saw the keys, they were in your purse? Yes, yes, I promise. Interesting. Very interesting. Take us to the scene of the crime. Wait, it's a crime to lose your keys? We don't know, but we do know that this case needs to be solved. Not much evidence. But Roar, we must find the keys or Cicely can't go home. We need to find more clues. Mom, let's retrace your steps. Oh, I'm good at tracings. See? No, no, I mean, let's try and remember where my mom was before. Oh, sorry. The last time I had my keys was after I brought in the groceries. Where are the groceries now? In the fridge? <gasps> Is it possible you put the keys in the fridge by accident? A dead end. What about... Before that, I was at the tea party. Hmm. Cicely, is this true? Yeah. Aunt Cassie was to have tea parties. Mr. Twimble ate all tweets. My dad was at the tea party and ate all the treats. We have a new suspect. Time to tell the truth. Admit it, Dad. Uh, okay, uh, okay, I admit it. I, I ate those snacks at the tea party. I couldn't help it. They were delicious. No, that's not... And then I borrowed Cassie's lawnmower without asking, but I cut her grass, too. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't ask permission. Um, actually, that wasn't it either. Have you seen my mom's keys? K keys? No, uh, forget what I just said about the lawnmower. But if it wasn't your dad, and it wasn't my mom, then... Who turned on the TV? Cicely! Cicely! It all makes sense now! After I put away groceries, we'll drop off Cicely. Cicely didn't want to go home. So while my mom's back was turned, she took the keys. If she had the keys... Aunt Cassie couldn't take her home. So playtime didn't have to end. And who would suspect baby Cecily? Cecily, did you take the keys? Yes! I want to stay! 
I know you like playing at Aunt Cassie's. But hiding the keys could get you in trouble. Cicely, I know it's hard when playtime ends, but it's time to go. We love you, and we'll see you soon. I love you too. All right, let's go. Ready, kiddos? Another mystery solved, thanks to the, the mystery, mystery solvers. solvers. That was fun. Yeah. Plus, we got to wear these cool outfits. Roar, how can I see more episodes? Well, follow the clues and ask your parents to subscribe. Wow, another mystery solved by the... Mystery, mystery Solvers! solvers.